Hey everybody, it's Jason from Code Monkeys, and welcome to another Code Monkeys tutorial. In today's video, we will be demonstrating how to easily install NVIDIA drivers so you can use the latest version of CUDA. So I'm currently using Ubuntu 18.04, which will allow us to be able to support the most recent release of CUDA, which in turn will allow us to support the most recent release of TensorFlow and other deep learning libraries such as PyTorch by allowing us to leverage our GPU when, for example, training neural nets or using them for inference. And we will also be demonstrating how to install QDNN, which provides us with high performance GPU acceleration so we can focus on training neural nets rather than focusing on the low level GPU performance. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a terminal and I'm going to increase the size of the text so you can see what I'm doing a little bit easier. And then I'm going to open up this text file, which contains all of the installation instructions and all of the commands that we will be using throughout this video. And I've attached this file to the video description so you can easily follow along. So the first thing you want to do is to determine if you do indeed have an NVIDIA GPU. And we do that by entering this command here, which is LSPCI. And then we pipe that into a grep for NVIDIA. And here, the product type of my GPU is GeForce, the product series is GeForce 900M, and the product is GeForce 940MX. And now what we're going to want to do is to purge any existing NVIDIA drivers on your computer, and we do that by entering this command, sudo apt purge NVIDIA wildcard, which is the star key, and this will purge everything related to NVIDIA. So I'm not going to enter this command since I've already installed the proper drivers. So be sure to pause the video when purging or installing because I have previously run all of these commands and they may take a little while to complete. So after you have purged any existing NVIDIA drivers on your computer, the next thing we're going to do is to install the proper NVIDIA drivers by first issuing this command here which adds another software source to Ubuntu that will allow you to grab the most up-to-date and preferred graphics drivers and they will also auto update now. And the next command that we will want to run is the sudo apt-get update which causes Ubuntu to search for the most up-to-date software and any dependencies or software that is needed. And then after updating, we will run the command sudo apt install NVIDIA driver 410, which allows us to install the newest stable NVIDIA driver, which at the time of this video is 410. And after that, we will run the command sudo reboot which will allow all of the updates and installs we have made to take effect. So after rebooting your computer, the next step is to check that the proper driver version and the proper CUDA version have been installed by issuing the command NVIDIA SMI. So I'll run that command. And this gives us a table which contains the driver version that we have installed, which in my case is 410.104, and the CUDA version we have installed, which in my case is 10.0. And now we need to go to the developer.nvidia.com slash CUDA downloads to install the CUDA toolkit. So that's the web page that I had open in the beginning of the video. So the, what we're going to want to do here is to select the target platform. So my operating system is Linux. The architecture I'm using is the x86-64, and the distribution is Ubuntu, and the version is 18.04, and the installer type that I chose was the run file local. And then what you're going to want to do is to download this, and then you're going to want to extract the files. I extracted my files in my downloads directory, and then you're going to want to run whatever command they give you in your directory that you extracted the files. So I'll go back to the terminal. I will cd into my downloads. And then I would run this. Now this actually takes a little bit of time to run. So I previously ran it. And what it does is it brings you to this command prompt. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to accept their 
license agreement. So you type in accept and then you press enter. And then what you'll originally see is it says plus X driver. So we wanna hit the right arrow key because we don't want the driver that comes with this download because we have already previously installed the drivers that we want. So then what we do is hit the down arrow key all the way down to install and then press enter. Now I'm gonna press control C because I've previously installed this. So now I'm going to go back to the other terminal and I'm going to bring up our text document and I'm going to back out of this command here. And the next thing you want to do after that installs is to add the following lines to your bash RC. So these are the lines we want to add here. And this will allow us to be able to issue the command nvcc version, which we will use to check that we have installed the correct version of CUDA toolkit. So we can do that by issuing this command here. So my username is Jason. So just be sure to enter your username and then press enter and then go all the way down to the bottom of your dot bash RC and then paste in those three lines. And then if you're using nano, we, you can use control O to save, then enter to accept those changes and control X to close the editor. And now we will be able to issue the command nvcc version, which is right here. So let me run that. And then if you look at the bottom line, you will see that the release is 10.1 and the version is 10.1.168 in my case. And we could also check which version we installed by issuing the command where is CUDA. So this will give us the path to the CUDA directory. So we can cd slash user slash local slash CUDA. And then we can list out the contents of this directory. And then we'll notice that there is a version.txt file in there. So we can cat that out. And that will also tell us that the CUDA version is 10.1.168. And if we were to go up one directory, then we can also issue the command ls flag l. And this will give us a long listing of the contents in this directory. And you'll notice that a symbolic link between the CUDA and CUDA 10.1 has already been created. So now if you ever want a new version of CUDA, you can simply download the new version and re-symlink it. All right, so now that we have installed the NVIDIA drivers, the CUDA version we want, and the CUDA toolkit, we can now install CUDNN, which we will do by going to developer.nvidia.com slash CUDNN. So I will go back over here. And what you want to do is click on download CUDNN. And then you'll be asked to either join or log in. So I've already created an account, so I will simply just be logging in. But if you were creating an account, then just click on join and you will have to fill in your account information, which consists of your email address, your display name, your password, and your date of birth. And then you will be asked to grant permission to NVIDIA to allow them to show you any games, rewards, and other content that you may be interested in and to share information to help them fix any bugs. And if you would like to do either of these, then just check the boxes and hit continue. Then you'll be asked to confirm your email address. And after that, you will have to enter details about your NVIDIA developer account, such as your name, your organization, your location, your industry segment, and your areas of interest. And then you can fill out the CUDNN download survey and then agree to their license agreement and download the corresponding CUDNN based off of your version of CUDA. And so I will log in.
and you know, we'll just agree to those terms and then you'll see the CUDNN versions and the corresponding CUDA versions. So since we have the CUDA 10.1, I will be downloading the CUDNN version 7.6.0 and I've already downloaded this so after you download it be sure to extract the files in whatever directory you would like and I extracted mine in the downloads directory and once you extract those files you can go to the terminal and you can type in where is who DNN and that will give you the file path to the QDNN header file, which is the user include QDNN.h. And now what we want to do is to CD into the directory where we extracted the files, which in our case was downloads and then you will want to issue the command let me bring it up in the text editor the command sudo copy flag p include slash qdnn dot h slash user slash include and this will copy the contents contained in the include slash qdnn dot h to the user include directory and that's where all of your header files will be. So you would enter this command, and I've already done that, so no point in copying them again. And then we will enter this command, and this will copy all the contents contained in lib64 slash qdnn to user lib x86 underscore 64 dash linux dash new and this will contain all of your .so or all of your object files and once again I've already copied this so I won't be copying it again and finally the last thing we have to do is enter this command here and this will allow us to change the permission of all of the files contained in the user lib x86 underscore 64 dash linux dash gnu slash lib qdnn to allow all users to be able to read these files and I've already done that so I'm not going to enter it again and once you've done that then you should have your NVIDIA drivers installed your correct version of CUDA your correct CUDA toolkit and the correct version of QDNN all installed and ready to go. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And in a future video, we will show you how to set up Anaconda for TensorFlow 2.0. And that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.